out here in Delta, Utah. Well, outside of Delta. Always wanted to see these. These are like abandoned solar something or other. Solar field? What did you call it, Eli? Or, right? I don't know. Eli's not here. Jennifer, what would you call this? That. There's an abandoned, there's also abandoned equipment out there too. They're kind of cool. It's like a lift machine. But Look at that. And so weird. Wow. Here we are. This is the old uh, abandoned solar farm outside of Delta, Utah. Been wanting to see this for a long time. Apocalyptic? Yeah. Apocalyptic. This is very apocalyptic looking. Very cool. Check that out. We're as close as we can get, because they don't want you trespassing. Check these things out. I think this was built in the early 2000s. It was an experimental solar uh, farm. Looks like a lot of it fell down in the wind. Really weird how it's adjustable and stuff. Not a lot of it left. All right, we're gonna continue. See those mountains out there? Yonder, that's where we're going. We're heading into this place called Death Canyon. Look at this. Check her out. We're going up to some uh, trilobite beds we saw on the map here. We're going to head up here in the Swayze Mountains and see if we can die in the Death Valley? Canyon. Oh, Death Canyon. So we're going to see if we can die in the Death Canyon. Never mind, it is only 4.05. We're trying to get to these things before it's dark. Jen's like, hopefully we get there before it's dark. And I'm like, it's fine. And then I saw the clock and it's 4.05. Oopsie. That's what happens when Jennifer takes too long getting ready in the morning. Don't even. Don't even get to leave this, until the afternoon. It is the result of some shortcuts. Death Canyon. side of this hill over here and see if we can find anything. It looks like somebody mined through here quite a bit actually. Mm -hmm. It does. That was an like extreme close up right there. Alright, stop. Let me go up here just a little ways. Uh -huh. Alright. All right. This looks like where maybe they dug them out, we think. It's like shale. It's really weird. Be really cool if we could find one, but I doubt we will.
nothing in there. Surprise, surprise. Look like they've been dug out. Couldn't find any. We looked around for a minute. Jennifer said it was like walking on Pringles. A lot of shale right here. We're gonna continue up the uh, Death Valley Road just for a little bit. Or, sorry, Miss Death. Hill. The Death Canyon Road for just a little bit. We are going to head up the Death Canyon Road for just a little bit, see what it has to offer. Hopefully, death. Hopefully not. <laughs> Well, boys, we screwed up. Got sunk a little bit. I think there's a big enough tree to winch off here. I'll wait till Jen gets up here. She's walking behind. I don't think we're gonna go much further. Time to go back, probably, as it's getting pretty deep now. Yeah, we're not gonna bother. I don't need to get stuck. There's no trees up here to winch from, so. Anyway, hopefully Jennifer's on her way up. I didn't want to stop because I thought I'd get stuck. Even aired down. Now ah, we'll see. I can either use traction boards or the winch. I think the winch is probably faster on my gears in the back, so we'll see. Let's get out of here. Try and just back out. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you buried that back end. You're okay. up. You're up to the bumper. Up to number two. <laughs> Winching. Let me get out some crap here. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. now. Okay.
because it's all pooled on one side. Yeah. This will break your winch. Yeah. This is why you need to check your winch while you're pulling everything in because if you get too much on this side, it'll actually break your winch in half. Good job spotting, Jennifer. Thank you. All right, time to go back down. We're not going to go any further up this road. It's not possible. It's about three foot of snow. <laughs> so we're going to attempt to get past the part I got stuck in because I slid into that originally. Let's hope I don't slide back into it. It's now 5.30. This is only going to take a little bit of time, as usual. And then we'll head back to, uh, what town were, were we in? Delta. Delta. At where there is downhill. no snow. It's all downhill, luckily. Good. And we won't get lost going back because we know the way. Oh, yes. Alright, here we go. Yes. I'm just gonna go slow and hope I can float past the part I get stuck in because I really don't want to winch again. Think light thoughts. Oh, we're so near way now. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I don't want to go in that hole though. I know. I so I'm trying to go on a fine line here. <laughs> Better we're on floating this side. barely. Floating. Oh yeah. Yep, yep. We'll get okay. past it. We're good. Now I know I can at least oh. slowly get back over my track here. All right, so see, if you're going to go snow wheeling, let the air out of your tires. Take a winch. If you have a winch, take a winch. Take some traction boards. Take some straps. And take some traction boards if you can afford those too. Take a shovel. Who can't afford a shovel? Take a shovel and dig yourself out and hopefully get moving again. Because if you can get your tires back down on the gravel or dirt that's below you, you can probably get moving 99% of the time. A winch is just handy because it makes it take less time to get out. So don't be stupid and go out there unprepared. The only reason I came up here is because I was prepared. Um, we always tell people where we're going because anybody can get stuck. We have gotten stuck. We have gotten so stuck, not in snow. We've no, we have so been. Stuck. We've been stuck in snow. We have. You dug us out. Remember the commander? Yeah, you dug us. It out. took two hours to dig that baby out. I know. Even we had a winch. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes even if you have a winch, there, <laughs> there's no trees. Yeah, there's no trees. <laughs> there was no trees in that snow pile. But sometimes you're gonna get stuck. The only reason we got out was because of strangers who came and helped us, and I still love those people. Yeah, it's really pretty. Okay, we are uh, back on the main road, just a dirt road, heading back to Delta. Should be back there in about an hour, hopefully, or less. Grab some dinner and uh, head back up to home. About two hours, but that was a pretty fun adventure. What did you think of that, Jen? Cool. All right. Hope you liked that video of that winch recovery, self extraction. Alright, like and subscribe. See you later. Peace out. I'm inspired by thirst. I'm inspired by worth. I desire your worst, so you can just hide while I work I ain't tired, you first I write a second, third verse About the lies you go disperse You never did shit, I know it hurts Something deep inside